Can people suffering from diabetes have sugarless sweets? Or is this a trick by sweet shops? Atreya Puram is known for Putare Kalu, Bandar for Laddu, and Kakinada for Kajas. Like this, if you remember some city names, you will have a craving to eat the sweets for which these places are famous for. But diabetic people are restricted from eating any kind of sweets. Our mind will go for these things which are restricted and we will have a craving to eat more sweets. In the fear of increase of sugar levels, we stop ourselves but in turn, this reduces the business and results in their loss. So, some people strategically started saying that these sweets are especially made for diabetic people as they are made from artificial sugars and started introducing cakes, biscuits and other bakery products. There will always be a question on if these products are really healthy. This video is going to clarify the same. In truth, saturine and sucralose used for the sweetness in sugarless sweets is not good for health. Studies show that sucralose leads to obesity and it has many side effects which will affect you. Secondly, the artificial sweeteners used contain same amount of ghee, oil and fat content which is more than those of normal sweets. So, if someone says these sweets are healthy and you will not be affected by these, do not believe them. Instead, it is better to have normal sweets once in a while which is far healthier. Also, diet biscuits contain sugar in the form of oligosaccharides which will affect your digestive system badly. So, are there any substitutes for sugar? Stevia is a sugar substance which is widely available in America and it is now also available in every supermarket in our country. This stevia is a plant and its leaves are made into powder. This powder is 40% more sweeter than the sugar and can be used in tea and coffee. Stevia doesn't have any calories in it and will not increase your blood sugar level. But this powder may taste little sore. Sugar extracted from stevia is sold with different names in the market. You must not use stevia plant directly. It can only be used after processing. Agave nectar, which is available mostly in countries like Mexico and South Africa, is also a substitute for sugar. This is also a plant derivative and it is also said that it contains huge levels of sucrose which will increase the fat in our body. Maple syrup and also some other artificial sweeteners are available but they have their own limitations. People who do not have any health issues are advised to have jaggery as a substitute for sugar by nutritional experts. Jaggery contains calcium and iron. Diabetic people use artificial sugar which is not healthy for you in the long run and this is not to be used by pregnant women and children. Brown sugar is the raw sugar which also has the same nutritional values as that of a normal sugar. Honey contains 53% fructose and is natural. So, you can use honey in limited amounts and this will not affect your health. Honey contains antibacterial elements as well as antioxidants. Date sugar is a sugar which is made after drying the dates and is used in sweet dishes. Many research studies show that artificial sweetness like saccharin is also not good. So, before thinking of a sugar substitute, consult a doctor.